Sergio Studios. Extra. Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Sergio Dominguez with another animation look through, and this is episode 166. And look, kind of the Sergio of the thing. So, uh, it's been a while, but I think this is the episode where all these creatures are trying to attack Dinosaur Sergio and nothing happens. So yeah, I think when I was animating this episode, I did a couple of reaction shots. That's why, like, if you see an order right here, the next couple of scenes are just very simple to animate shots of Dinosaur Sergio reacting. So you see, it's a pan in, slow pan in, he's blinking, he's happy. I think his mouth is getting bigger. Yep, I use the tweening here using this transform tool and tweening and stuff. So that's one of them. I did it again. I think I just took the, the, the whole scene, took it to the library, and uh, brought it to this scene and just altered it a little bit by obviously making one like, uh oh. And yeah, and I think, uh, yeah, zoom out. Okay, yeah. Uh, this one's funny. This one's really funny of like this uh, little dinosaur creature going. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you notice in this scene here, this one that's unchecked mark, so you're not supposed to see this on camera, is the drawings of this uh, little dinosaur little creature. Because this was drawn, if you've seen the art look through of it, it was drawn on paper, then I outlined in marker, then I skinned it in, and then I brought it, not here, I think later on in the scene, uh, but this is one of the drawings, you know, that I just put from here, yep. So if you notice, it looks very similar here and here. I copy and paste of that. And I add a little blinking motion by the, you see, by the looks of it. I did like alter the eyelids a little bit. Yeah, I, yep. I drew this with, um, you see how perfect this is compared to like the little jagged edges from that the marker picked up from the scanner because I just use a regular, you know, permanent marker. So this smoothing must be from the brush tool or pencil tool, I think brush. But to add a little bit of that blinkiness, then I cycled it. Like there's one where the whole detail of the eye was just gone in order to make the um, eye, eyelid close. Okay, what, we, what do we have here? <laughs> Is he gonna? <laughs> I loved how it came out at the time too. Because it, also if you noticed... They're all just grouped together, you know? I didn't do like the classic animation thing where I got different individual drawings. I just, I tried my best and tried to like guess what the next pose will be and drew it all in one sheet of paper then scan it, then line it up into the, the software. Um, it, it makes the drawing next to it look a little bit off, but with the tools that I have here, I can just alter it a little bit. So it was a way to save paper, but still get a little bit of a hand-drawn look to it, so. No, I took this, then I took that one of the drawings, put it here, another one put it here, just the head because the neck is the same, and here, and here, whoa, and then, I'll get to it, but, but <clears throat> see, they were all in different sizes, so when I copy and paste to get uh, it to look a little bit more even, you see, so it goes from here to a stretch, even though I think the drawings were very different sizes, it uh it would uh look like that after stretching it but it would result also in the outlines looking you see how this outline looks thin compared to this if you took a drawing with a different kind of size outline because of the size of the drawing making it go from thin to thick and there was no way for me to really shrink it because it became a brush tool once i vectorized the hand drawing it of it it was there 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 and the <laughs> So yeah, so it was doing that, and this is just all one drawing, but I wanted to give a little bit of movement, so uh, I made it boil. So I took this, copy and paste it in its own little frame, then I will select all, go to tools, and then click on smooth. And then it would give what you see, the smooth version of this. So it's like the original hand drawingness, which is like, uh, then, then this smoothness. Then I cycle it and boom, a nice boil. <laughs> that one's cute. 
Dinosaur Surgeon. And yeah, these are like a couple of shots of just Dinosaur Sergio. And here you go. Look at this look, this T-Rex right here. <laughs> this T-Rex looking character. All right, so like for this shot, yep, this T-Rex running. I didn't rig it that much because it doesn't have any knee joints. It just had leg joints. I took drew one leg, copy and paste it in its own layer. This is also its own asset layer. Body part, as you can see here. And then it was just like, doo 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 doo. And to give it making like it's running without, I don't want to draw a complete background for this. I'm like, let me, just supposed to symbolize that yeah, this guy's running after you. Took one layer and it's just lines. I think these lines are, as you can see, this is the properties of Tomb Boom, where it tells me what this drawing is about, which I set to foreground and cells. It, it's, it's white. What we got here. Yep, this was a, a gradient of white, very thin white to nothing, I think. And I just put, drew random lines, I drew line, line with the brush tool and again cycled it. There you go. Another reaction shot from Dinosaur Sergio. Is it coming after? Me, I took like again, I took the previous scene and I think I just popped it in here and just repositioned the camera. This is a time where I was trying to do things really quick, I had a goal, but no, this isn't funny. But um, it came out very well this episode, it was still fun. And the dinosaur's like just trying to bite him. And I didn't draw much of this dinosaur, but it's a nice drawing of a dinosaur. <laughs> oh, this one. Oh, I remember this one. I remember. Now, there was going to be a snake that was supposed to attack dinosaur Sergio. But um, I remember I, I wanted this snake to come in. I wanted to slither and look look like a slithering snake, but I couldn't. Snakes are a little bit hard to animate, depending. You know, this is a very simple stylized cartoon snake, but it was still like, how am I going to make this work? I never really animated even a simplified snake. But by the looks of it, from what I can remember, yeah, this is its own head, this is its own body. And I think, yep, this one's drawn. This one was drawn in marker then i smooth it out and yeah there's three three or so frames in a cycle so that was a simple shot of the snake coming in now here's where we got complicated this is where it got complicated because i wanted the snake to wrap around dinosaur sergio and i remember i was like how am i gonna do this so i think when i was doing this wow yeah this was for me this was impressive at the time and I'm still impressed how I did that. I'm trying to look back. I'm like, how did I do this? So let me go to the snake layers. But it involved, um, yeah, it involved a, a mask tool. And I think, let's see, by the looks of it, yeah, I was animating the head. The head was going around. It's still the same head throughout the whole thing. And you see the snake. Yeah, there, there was a lot of mask, masking tool here. And also the limbs were coming in, Yeah. That's what it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, each one, yep, was its own layer. And it would come in on cue from the head animation. And then I think I animated the mask, you know, going away. So it would look like this thing was just wrapping around. You know, it went behind, it went forward. And yeah, the way the head is coming in, it looked like the mask tool. Yep. And you can see the keyframes of the snake head just following that trail. Yeah, I remember this was complicated, but look, it looks nice. It Honestly, it still amazes me how I did this. You know, but when I remembered the tools and I was figuring it out, yeah. This is one, one of my favorite 
complicated ish shots that I've done for the show of, the, of this snake. Of this snake. <laughs> okay. Oh, this one was funny. This was so funny. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oops. I don't know if anyone noticed it. I think I reused drawings for this. Yep, a little bit. It's like, nom, 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 nom. And he eats it like spaghetti. <laughs> there it is. And I have to cycle this one. Yeah, to make it look like... Because how do I make this like this long snake and me slurping it and make it look like it's it's going through to the end? I think uh, I cycled this part to have a little bit of like 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 vibration to it to make it look like it's coming in before the tail came in. And you can see, oh, there's the end, but then tail comes in. So I'm at the end of that snake spaghetti. No. <laughs> yeah, that was a nice shot. This is nice at all. Oh, let's see. Oh, this is familiar, I guess. I think maybe I had to edit that in that burp. I don't remember. It's been a while. That's why the end looks like that. And maybe when I exported it, I cut that out as footage. It could be it. That's why the ending looks like this. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen this episode in a while. I did commentary for it if you want to check it out for season, what is this, 17? 17. All right. There's a bush. Just draw one drawing of a bush, and I just did some keyframes of it wobbling around. And then you have nothing. Oh, this little character. Like I said earlier, I know this. It looked like it was animated out of order, since you see here and stuff. But that's sometimes how I work, especially when I work on it fast. And we're back to this. It's like I got you, I got you. Oh, ooh. crushed by a rock. Crushed by a rock. Hmm. Another reaction shot. I'm like, mm, hmm. Ah, uh, human. Now he's adapted to his environment, if you understand my lore storyline of this character. Again, he's like, what? Uh-oh. Nice. This was, a, again, a specific shot because I never really gave him eyelids. I don't know. I, I barely... Maybe I did when he blinked, you know. But for a shot, when it shots like this, that's like, oh, I'm airing my eyes to show, uh, I mean, business. I did have to give him, let's see, yeah, his own eyebrows to go from here to here. There you go. And this is also for the eyelids. You know, the top eyelid, by eyelid, like, no, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. You made me mad. You made me mad. He jumps. Again, this is also another thing where I'm like, okay, he's charging forward, but I don't know how to set this up. So I, so I'm like, okay, how do I draw the perspective? And you see here are the his body parts of like him trying to go after it. This got deleted. This one was fine. Yeah, the arm here to here. So yeah, I took that copy and pasted it. Again, you're not supposed to see this. It was just for me, and I checked it off. So yeah, I think it did a good job of making it look like it's coming right at you. Um, right, you're like, ah. Oh no, this is another reaction shot for Professor Sergio. Wow. Very reactionary. And it's. They're buddies! They're buddies! And they're walking around. I use the same, like, like Dinosaur Sergio running animation. But for uh, Human's case, I would put him inside the actual rig. So this is him. This is Dancer Sergio. So I don't have to do it at this animate him at the same time. You see, it's like just fine. No wobbling. 
and uh, I positioned him on his back, and there you go. Made it easier. Just saying, we did like what arms moving, and that's it. That's it for the most part of this um, episode and this little animation look through through this episode of the Sergio Show. So again, thank you very much for watching this animation look through of episode 166 of the Sergio Show. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below and follow me on my social medias if you want to. Again, I am Sergio Dominguez saying have an animated day. Thank you.